Hello, and welcome back to MyBibleRegistration.com. We're on lesson number 30, and we are doing a series talking about my what? Well, today we got a wonderful lesson, and we're going to be talking about my joy. That's right, my joy. Sandy, how would you describe the word joy? What comes to mind? Oh, that's when your heart is so full of, of love. Uh, you're just so joyous over some situation. Mm -hmm. Speechless. You're so you're just so excited and happy. You just become speechless and you mm -hmm. just see it all over your face. You know, you just feel so much joy. And that's um, what we'll be learning about today. Uh huh. Yeah. That in your spirit all the time, all the time. And, you know, joy can come in the form of dancing singing, mm -hmm. reading, writing, mm -hmm. anything that you do, uh, it could bring you what? Joy. Uh, even eating, you know, uh, shopping. Uh, there's so many things that we can uh, choose to bring us what? Joy. Mm -hmm. So when we have joy and you're around other people, you go around other people, don't you think that's contagious? Don't you think your joy would be their joy? That's why it says my joy, your joy. So that's going to be the key word today is joy. And so we're going to have Sister Sandy to start us off. Sandy, why don't we take a look? Audience, follow with us now. Psalms 43, verse 4. And two things we want to look for. Who is the scripture talking about? And what is this joy that they are describing? Okay, let's take a look. Psalms 43, verse 4, please. All right. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God, my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God, my God. And this is David. He is feeling so much joy to his God, right? And it's mm -hmm. like a song, a song, and he would be playing, playing the harp for him and singing to him and praising him because of the joy that he feels in his heart. He wants to bring it out and show the Lord what that, what that is that he's feeling. Because you have to manifest it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, dance, like Minister Love said, dance or, or yeah. sing or write something or do something because that it has to come out or you feel like you're gonna blow up, right? When you're so happy about mm -hmm. it, something that just brought you so much joy, you wanna share it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's it. And like you say, here's David again. And, and if anyone could express joy, it would be David, huh? Look at all the Psalms he wrote because the Psalms is just another word for song, praising, you know, and, and David always played an instrument. So remember what we said earlier, music, dancing, that brings you joy. You know, I, I turn on my, uh, oh, y'all gonna love this. Uh, my daughter-in-law, I never heard of this guy, Bruno Mars. And so, but I know it, I know it, I, I know it, I know I'm in the love. But I never heard of Bruno Mars, right? So she was playing his music and I got the dance. And I said, oh, I said, I, it was the beat of the music. It just did something to my feet. And so I just love good music. And that little Bruno Mars had me saying, I didn't know I could move so good until I heard Bruno <laughs> Mars. It was good. I, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Music will do that, won't it? It, it, it'll do that for you. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And so notice what David said. I, I got to say this in that text too. Did you notice where David went? He went to the what? Altar of God. It's kind of like when we go to the altar at the church. When people go to the altar, they go up there, maybe sad. But when you turn around and leave, you're going to have some joy. That something happens to you at that altar. And so that's what David is trying to get us to see. If you are sad, go to, go to the altar. Your altar could be your desk. It could be your bed. It could be the bathroom. It could be the kitchen. It could, altar could be anything, anywhere. But go to the altar and meet God wherever you can meet God. And, and, and so you can uh, get some joy of whatever you may be going through. All right, then, Miss Sandy, let's take a look at another scripture. Let's go over to Psalms 137. Okay. Psalms 137, verse 6. And Minister Love is going to read that. And it reads, 
If I do not remember thee, let my tongue plead to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Wow, this is another great psalm. Here is a situation where the Israelites are in Babylon under Nebuchadnezzar and they're in exile. And what are they longing for? To come back to where? Jerusalem. Why do they want to come back to Jerusalem? Because the scripture here says that they see it as their what? Chief joy. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And, 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 and so Babylon ain't giving them joy. They miss their home. You, you ever been like that, Sandy? You ever go away from your house and, 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 and you miss home and you can't wait to get back home? It's a different feeling, isn't it? Definitely. You're more at peace. You know, mm -hmm. you're home. It's your turf. Yeah. And the places, it's not the same. Exactly. So when they got back to Jerusalem after being in Babylon for 70 years, that's a long time to be away from home. So I can imagine a lot of the people, they were sad, you know, because they was homesick. But when they did get back to Jerusalem, they was able to rebuild the city, the temple. And that, and that brought them joy, say, because they was back at home with right. the Lord. They learned yeah. their lesson being somewhere that is not a good place to be. So they mm -hmm. really appreciate it to go back to their home. Jerusalem. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like if we left Christianity and went over to another religion. That ain't going to bring me joy. Mm. Not like this word does, not like the true word of God does, because the other religions, uh, they're just uh, imitators. Correct. They're just imitators. The joy won't last long with them. But if you get with God, that's going to be an eternal joy. Right. So David experienced it. And so, so do we want to experience it as well. Right. Sandy? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did you have a thought? Also, too, like when yes. our young men go to war, right? Oh. They go out to battle. And when they come home, there's just an overwhelming joy. Yeah. They're back home, they made it. They're safe. They weren't mm -hmm. you know, killed. And their, their family, their mother, their father, their wives have such over uh, joy that mm -hmm. they're home safe. That's really powerful. That's a good point, Sandy. I like that. That was a good one. Yeah, because you can see when they come off the ships or the airplanes, however they're coming back, but the wives and the kids, they're uh, waiting to meet them and they just cry and they and they be crying, but it's what we call the tears of what? Joy. Tears of joy because they loved one came back home. Some didn't, but majority do. So let's take a look at our last text, Sandy. And you're going to read this for us, Philippians 4, verse 1, please. Okay. 4, 1. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and long for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. Mm -hmm. So that's talking about us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The brethren mm -hmm. is the brother or the yes sister. and um to stand firm in your belief and um and then the joy and the crown uh because you're standing fast for the lord and they're saying my dearly beloved so in essence the joy that we will feel for the work that we have done for god throughout mm -hmm. our life will be the joy that is unimaginable when we in the end will be face to face with God. Mm -hmm. Just make you want to cry. It but, does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just, you will be blessed beyond measure. Mm. Anything in this life that you can obtain. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Stood out there and give your life to Jesus mm -hmm. and serve him to the best of your ability throughout your whole life. Right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And Sandy, I'm going to add to that too. So here, Paul, like you say, he's talking to the believers then and to us today. And I love how Paul saw the people, the believers that was following him. He saw them as his own personal joy. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, brethren, you are what my joy and you are my crown. 
So when Paul would go out and speak to uh, to, uh, uh, the gospel and people received it, that gave him what? Joy. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was like a, they were like a crown on his head. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's kind of like with us today, with all of the subscribers that we have, people that follow us, uh, faithful followers on Facebook, social media. And when we look at them, they are a what joy to us when we see them. They are like a crown, like, wow, God, people are actually receiving this. They're, they're uh, 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 understanding these lessons that we're giving out. So that gives me joy. And it, I feel like a, a, like a little halo over my head. You know how you have that little halo over your head? That's how I feel that time. I feel so good of the work that we do. Right. Because my children, it is true. my daughter serving the Lord gives me such joy. Yeah. Uh, working on my son, and I know he will come around, as will your family. Mm -hmm. It just gives you so much joy, people that you have brought to Jesus through mm -hmm. your hard work, and um, just continue to speak to them and ask them to listen. And, and finally, hopefully, they get it, right? <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> joy that that you get from it is just beyond what you can even imagine it really is it really is well everyone we're gonna end right there on that good night Ooh, what a joy it has been today wow we just love these lessons and we want to thank you for being with us here and so we want to uh just give a shout out to our other sister website say tell them about this website sure. SourceOutreachMinistries.com. Uh, check us out. And we have a series called Overcoming the Flesh that will help you in your journey to have a better life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. That's right. And then we also have Black Coup Ministries, where that's Bible lovers, achieving Christ's knowledge, understanding and wisdom. And over there, we're doing a great series talking about what does your name mean? So uh, you may just be in one of those videos, so you want to be a subscriber because your name might just come up in one of the lessons. And so then, Sandy, we have another social media also that they can uh, check out as well. Tell them about this one. Okay, the YouTube channel, we have the mm -hmm. Bible Talk Show uh, on that. We have over 600 videos for you to watch and learn about Jesus. And mm -hmm. we ask that you subscribe to that channel to help us to grow so that more and more people will find us and learn about Jesus. And we also have Gina, one of our Black Who members. Uh, she has two series on there, the uh, um, Simplicity series, Learning the mm -hmm. Bible Simply, and the Spiritual Warfare series. And, and let me just say, they are really good. And when I go back and listen to her teach from where she came from, starting with this ministry, it gives me joy. And I know she's your daughter, but she's like a daughter to me too, uh, Sandy, to see the growth in her to produce these great, great uh, video lessons. And I, I just encourage everyone, y'all got to check it out right over there at the Bible Talk Show. All right, then. God bless you all. I'm Minister Love with Sister Sandy. Thank you for being with us on this lesson number 30. You don't want to miss next week on Lesson 31. Take care and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.